hey what's up guys this side arav and you're watching a track readers youtube channel so in this video we are doing a review of the evolution x 7.4 which is currently based for redmi note 10 out there so if you're interested in the rom review then please please watch the video until the last and don't forget to subscribe because it doesn't really cost you anything but it really motivates me to make awesome content for yours so hello people so my name is arav and you watching a track readers so let's get started all the things that i am mentioning in the video are the fully detailed checked review so if you found anything problems against this review of the room then you can comment down i will make sure to reply on this them first of all let me start from the settings and if you go about the phone and you can see that android 30 it is based on android 13 with the evolution version of 7.4 calidatra and you got a nice easter egg and calidatra it is unofficial build which is having the latest 5th december security update and the kernel version is strict in line which is too good to see that we are getting a strict kernel and now it is strict kernel is performing well in the rooms and the build maintainer is quickly adiant whatsoever the silly status is enforcing which means your security are highly secured so you are getting any issues about that same apart from that let me start from the evolution evolver you get the themes option in that themes all the things in the themes were working fine i didn't use such much themes option so I'm not going into that details too. In the status bar, you get the things customized because I have to flash this ROM twice because I actually I have used this ROM, but after that I have to flash MIUI port ROM. That's why I uh, I given that video and again I am getting the request to review the Evolution X 7.4. That's why I'm reviewing it again. After that, the battery icon style and everything is working fine. You can see the colored icons is also been working. Apart from that, you get the quick settings. In the quick settings, you can arrange according to you. Like if I brightness side uh, also always, you can see that it will always be shown. You can select the bottom position or top position. From here, you can see that it is working all around fine. No issues that you are getting so far. And here you can select the no animation or whatsoever. But I don't like that. So you can change according to your users. You can customize footer text. Like if you can see this here is evolution X is mentioned. But I would like to say uh, write subscribe. So you can see that here it's subscribe is mentioned. Apart from that, everything is working and clear. All notification buttons is also been there. It's working around fine. After that, you can go into three settings. These all the settings were working fine. Up in the animations, you get the animations uh, styles and charging animations. You can do check it from here. Apart from that, the miscellaneous options here you get something new. Like you get the game space, you can use game space. I don't know how to play these games, so I don't use this. You get the unlimited fixed photo storage. I will help you to see that you are getting or not. Suppose I am get got into my what do you say? Photos app and let me help you to see that here I got uh, this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos. So you are not getting the issues on that. You can unlock higher FPS in games. And then Netflix spoof is also been there. You can customize pulse according to your own. And the volume panel timeout is also been there. And you can select source CPU info. And if here you can see that CPU info is working. So sensor block per packet. This is a new settings. It has got the QRP one chain block. So you can sensor app plug us. You can do that. In the USB, you can select the file transfer. I generally most of the people do that. Apart from that, here you got the team option. Thanks to the team to making this room possible for us. Now, apart from everything, I would shortly give the review about the network. The network is pretty impressive. I'm using my primary SIM cards and using it for two days. I feel that not got a single speed drops. Apart from that, you get the apps. And here in the apps, you get the game space again too. In the default apps, you get the pixel launcher with no customizations because it's pure Android. And after that, the battery in the battery usage, you can see that here it's not mentioned, but in the AQ battery app, I will show you how. Here you get the kernel profiles with the performance order whatsoever. Apart from that, every detail has been mentioned, like design maximum capacity of the battery per app customization, battery charging warning. If you enable this, you get a warning whenever it reaches the certain limit. Apart from that, everything is working in the display. You also getting the AOD support. You can see that all advanced settings. You get the AOD. You can select that always on display and that always on display is working all around fine. After that, guys, everything is working fine. Please just disable this. 
wallpaper wallpaper zoom effect it will create a lag on your device and it does not work all around fine apart from that wallpaper style it does consist of many kinds of what you say theming palette if i just change it gets changed so you can see that it is working themed icon and yeah given all the security option you get the face and fingerprint unlock both i didn't use but it's working after that system here you get the thermal profiles is it working or not i will tell it in the later part of the video gestures normal all the settings were working you got i am telling that you aren't facing any issues in this also apart from that i already mentioned about the phone now if i come apart from the benchmark that i run first of all i want to talk about battery see the battery stats is also here first of all you can see that this is used for 14 hours from 75% to 34% and the screen on time is 4 hour 54 minutes and according to my usage it is best you can see that the battery is being charged from 8% to 100% for what you say 1 hour 6 minute and it's tugged 1 hour 6 minute means that the 33 watt charging is working all around fine so battery is pretty impressive of this rom and next thing i want to show about the 3d benchmark app you can see that i have run some benchmarks like i have run wildlife extreme stress test also here you can see the best loop score is 141 and the stability of the device is 97. Nine percentile. After that, I also took the wildlife and you get the average FPS of two ninety, which is also pretty impressive at all. If I generally talk about what you say, Geekbench options, you can see that the in the Geekbench that I have took two times. First, this is without any thermal profile. You can see the score that is five twenty one and fifteen thirty five. With the thermal profiles, you can see the scores gets degraded. So I don't recommend to use that. This is the true reality of the thermal profiles. Apart from that, if you ask me about the safety net test, I am running it currently live, and you can see that the it is passed. No issues you are getting in the safety net status also. Apart from that, if you someone is asking me about device certification of the Play Store, let me help you to see that the device is being certified. No issues for you also. But also, I want to share about something like what you don't I have seen. That is the screenshot whether it's gone. Here, this is the 14 minute 46 second CPU throttling test. What do you say? With uh, one second, with the uh, here without any profiles. So it's without any profiles and it's 81 percent max performance. And after that, where I applied the thermal profile, you can see that it has been run only for 10 minutes. And the graph you can see that and it 47 to its max performance. So thermal profiles isn't working fine. If you are a total gamer, then I would not going to recommend this for you all. But if you do certain amount of works and if you want a better battery backup room, and if you wanted that, you can do use that. Now, if I, if what I recommend is this room or not? The first of all, let me up, up tell tell you about optimization. You can see that the opening, closing, animation of the any application is working flawlessly. Because we know all that it is based on 60 hertz display, so you are not getting much of the smoother animation because Android 12 and Android 13 will based on smoother animation. So I know that you are getting as much smoother animations, but you can see that there isn't a lag in the QS panel too. Everything is working flawlessly, and everything. If I just open the Kind Master, you can see that it is heavy application, but the opening closing is working fine. I generally want you to suggest this ROM. If only because if you are having normal users, then you can do use this room, and you can also do one thing to subscribe my channel for get more these sort of videos. And if you ask me about the installation, first of all, uh, I would like to share that the installation is pretty simple. You have to just boot in the Orfox beta. If you want, you get with the you will go with the Orfox beta or Orfox stable build latest build and just install this build. I will giving the link in the description box below and you can do check out from that what's the way to install this rom so guys this is all for now my name is arav and we'll meet in the next video till then